Hey, what's up guys? It's Marcus Brownlee here from MKBHD, and welcome to another application review, another HD tutorial. And today I'm going to be taking a look at Destroy Twitter, which is a Twitter client that I've been using for just about as long as I can imagine. And this is uh, actually my favorite Twitter client over TweetDeck. I actually do prefer this over TweetDeck. So I'm going to be showing you, uh, this is actually, I'm reviewing it now because uh, this is the latest version, which just came out today version 2.0, Destroy Twitter 2.0, and it does have quite a few features that I'll, I'll give you a brief rundown of them, not all of them, but I'll go ahead and show you what I can in the time allotted. So obviously here is your timeline, nice and smooth, the same scroll bar, and uh, the pictures and the tweets text themselves. You can also click on names of the people to view their profiles. And you can see there's obviously still blue for mentions. One of the things that didn't transfer over was themes. So uh, there are no themes, uh, theme support yet, but you can still uh, use the default Twitter theme. Another thing I want to show you is preferences. Since Destroy Twitter has been known for a very simple interface, you can check out all these preferences. If I just extend this to be a little bit taller here so we can view all of them. Since I'm not going to go through all of them, I'll just show you all of them now. You can have it open up at startup and always be on top. I don't think you can get, you can get rid of this shadow quite yet. Uh, but you can just, uh, choose whether or not they have small, large, or no icons, which is cool. And you can change your retweet format. I usually use this native one. And one of the cool things is you can change the sound it makes. So down here under notifications for sound, you can actually uh, preview them. Purr is actually the, the exact same sound as TweetDeck, if you've ever heard that. But I prefer to leave the, the standard marimba, uh, which just seems a little bit simpler, and I enjoy it. So that's just a brief rundown of uh, a couple of the preferences, and there are a lot of very cool things. Now, uh, here's the button down here that you click to tweet. When you click this button, you'll have the same pop-up that you typically get. You can restore your previous tweet there. Also, what you can do here is choose uh, to upload a file using this little plus button for uploading files. And I'll upload to TwitPic by default. And also for shortening links, you can auto-shorten URLs and use Bitly. So instead of a uh, posting a link in a separate box, you can now just put a link in here and it'll auto shorten. So for example, mashable.com, hit a space, and maybe it's not a long enough URL, but it typically does shorten the URL. Maybe it'll shorten it when I tweet, but that's a very cool feature. And then you hit submit and you're good to go. But otherwise, this has been a quick look at Destroy Twitter. You can, you can obviously uh, check it out for yourself. I'll include a link in the description. Uh, and you can see if you like this Twitter client yourself, and maybe you'll end up downloading it and having it as your default like I do. So until next time, thanks for watching this high definition video tutorial. Oh, another thing I forgot to mention, uh, complete window resizing. So that's cool. Anyway, this has been MKBHD. Thanks for watching this HD tutorial, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.